Hello again, and welcome back, ghouls and goblins. My name's Hello Good Game. pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena Deck Guide video. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. Murders at Karlov Manor is finally here, playable to everyone within the game client. Starting out with one of my favorite builds from our, um, you know, theory crafting sessions. It's Timir Cloak. We have a new deck from the ground up, red, blue, and green mid-range, focusing around that new mechanic, Cloak. Breaking down in depth the deck list, discussing both the strategies and synergies, giving you a deeper understanding of how to pilot that deck effectively. And then we're going to demonstrate this within our ranked gameplay footage against the best decks as well as players in game. Finally wrapping up with our concluding thoughts, deck review, and channel news. So thank you one final time. If you want to help out, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for any additional help within your deck building uh, or experience within the game, hit us up in the Discord, link in the description below, and let's take a look at Team Air Cloak. It's a new lap record. Here we are with our new green, red, and blue mid-range deck building around the new cloak mechanic. First and foremost, it's Vanifar, Evolved Enigma, four mana, three power, four toughness. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one, cloaking a card from your hand or putting a plus one, plus one counter on each colorless creature that you control all of our cloaked creatures, right? So that's quite nice. We'll also be tying this together with Yaris, Roar of the Old Gods. An additional four mana, four power, four toughness creature, and other creatures you control have haste. And whenever one or more face down creatures you control deals damage to a player, draw a card. Absolutely phenomenal. Furthermore, whenever a face down creature you control dies, return it to the battlefield face down under its owner's control. If it's a permanent card, and then turn it face up. B E A beautiful. Um, this will allow us to. Um, disguise our creatures without actually having to pay to flip them. So putting them into the battlefield for free with our Enigma and then flipping them with Yaris all for free, which is quite nice. We will link these together with Hide in Plain Sight, another four mana sorcery. And at uh, at sorcery speed, uh, looking at the top five cards of your library, cloaking two of them and then putting the rest in the bottom in random order. This is very, very good. Um, sorcery speed, a bit of a bummer, but at the end of the day, that's fine. Specifically, if you know we can give them haste and would want to attack with them this turn, we'd want to put the plus one, plus one counters on them this turn. Um, so the sorcery speed isn't really that bad, right? It's pretty cool. Um, aside from that, we will also be utilizing the uh, Pyrotechnic Performer. Two mana, three power, two toughness, disguise one at the... You know, whenever it or another creature we control is turned face up, we're going to deal damage equal to that uh, creature's power, which is pretty crazy because, you know, we do have uh, some heavy hitters in deck. So if we can, with Vanifar, put face down a Quake Mole and then flip it up either manually or um, automatically with the old gods or by paying for mana, now we're going to deal eight damage to our opponent per performer as this is a non-legendary that we can stack right really really cool and uh very high damage output there which is quite nice base power and toughness being a three two is not bad either okay uh moving on to another new card in deck cryptic coat three mana when it enters the battlefield cloak the top card of your library and attach the coat to it equipped creature gets plus one plus zero and cannot be blocked which is great furthermore we can pay two to return the coat to our hand right not bad here either the unblockable is very very good um you know as well as that free cloak which is really nice within the synergy of the deck as a whole some of our cards that we're looking to cloak uh will be ozure uh Kaslam, deepest growth five mana six five trample when it deals combat damage to a player reveal that many cards from the top of our library putting a creature and or land card from among them into the battlefield rest on bottom in random and then of course when it dies 
transform it into the Temple of Cultivation, tapping for green mana, paying three, transforming back into the deepest growth if we have 10 or more permanents at sorcery speed, as well as uh, uh, our Quake Mole, obviously, eight power, four toughness, ridiculous damage output here, uh, within itself attacking with haste, which is cool, within the flip with the performer, which is cool, and then the double combat ability, which it has, Whenever it becomes a block, untap each creature you control. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. It's ridiculous. You can uh, pay seven to ensure that it must be blocked this turn, which is great as well. Uh, each um, combat this turn, right? So you only have to pay for it uh, once, and you can, you know, attack multiple times, which is great. Okay. Uh, ramping within the deck via Kodama. Um, you know, we do have these cloaked creatures that we can distribute plus one plus one counters on. Great. It's also a 3 3 with reach, and it can grab lands from our library whenever a modified creature. The coat will also modify a creature uh, alongside the counters from the Enigma, as well as Kimono. Right? The Scrap Gorger can also self modify uh, with oil counters, which is nice. It gets plus three, plus zero when it has three oil counters. Whenever it taps for mana, exile card from graveyard if you do grab an oil counter on it, which is cool. Um, you know, for the ramp, uh, it's a three color deck as well as that graveyard control, which is quite nice. Removal and interaction within the build. Fading Hope, two copies of this returning creature to its owner's hand, mana value three or less. You get to scry one. We have hard hitting question. At sorcery speed for one, target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to creature or planeswalker you don't control. This is very nice, a new addition. Uh, as well as the Witch Stalker Frenzy for four instant speed, being reduced by one for each creature that's attacking. And uh, it will deal five damage to target creature, which is quite nice for us as well. Kamano is going to deal one damage to each opponent and planeswalker they control as it enters. Your next creature enters with an additional plus one plus one counter on it, which we've discussed. And then finally, uh, you will... Exile and transform it into the 2-2 with haste. And if a creature would die uh, and is dealt damage by a source you control, it's going to be exiled instead through the etching of Kumano, which is very, very cool as well. We do have um, some lands in deck, the Soaring City, as well as the Crucible of Defiance and Who Endures as our utility lands. We are utilizing the new maze, the new district, and the new falls for surveil. Not going too far into it because we like to, you know, uh, have some basics for Kudama, obviously, as well as, um, you know, play quickly, right? We don't want to be too slow with too many tapped lands as we have, uh, you know, some of those in deck as well uh, to make the mana base nice and consistent for us. So that is the deck in its entirety. Again, you know, your main goal is to just play around with a new cloak mechanic. Um, it's a lot of fun. And it will, I believe, take a little bit of time for us to uh, fine tune into the perfect deck, right? Obviously, there's going to be one cloak deck better than the others. However, I do think today uh, we're well on our way to discovering that deck. Yaris, you're crazy. Vanivar, you are absolutely lovely. And the performer really outperforming uh, itself within my expectations, right? I didn't think it would be that good, but flipping the mole god. Uh, dealing eight damage with the performer is ridiculous. Plus it flips itself and it's just like, yeah, it's a lot of damage, dude. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the deck. We're going to discuss uh, a little bit more uh, of it as we wrap up today's video after the gameplay footage. Um, sad news is the early access event was canceled, right? So we're doing this all off our own accounts with all of you. Pros and cons to that. Well, you know, it's nice to play with our audiences. It is also nice to play against creators. Cons, no one is playing new cards. I think I played, you know, for hours and I ran into like two or three new cards, which is super duper unfortunate. However, you know, I do expect as the set ages out that we'll have more of these new cards being introduced into people's decks. And at the end of the day, it is the first day. Um, these packs are expensive. And um, I guess it's kind of sad that the early access event was canceled because it was a way for us to all try these new cards against one another. Everybody was doing it. And now it's just the same old meta decks. But not on this channel. New decks every day. What up? Like, comment, subscribe. Let's take a look at today's gameplay. All right, let's keep seven here. Not a great hand, but uh, Scrap Warger is going to be good. Hello. Hope is gone. I mean, you can only take, you get to look at these cards forever. You don't have to read them all right now. It's just like, 
take what you want. There's only one option to take, and then you can read the rest for the whole game. Imagine. But no, let's just, like, hang out for 45 seconds. <laughs> Alright, into the removal spell, I'm sure. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Wow. I don't even know what the point of playing a match is these days. <sighs> BRB while I file my taxes. You know, like, great. I'm going to try it out. See how it feels. Oh, hello, kitty. See how fun it is when we both do it? You don't really notice it when it's just you because you're occupied with whatever you're doing on the side. But no, the two of us are just going to have a 45-minute spite-fulfilled match now. I hope you're ready. I wish I could play faster, but there's just so much to consider. Like, how much of this orange juice do I get to drink before the rope shows up? Mm. Two sips. I got two sips. Who had two sips in chat? Anyone? Two sips? Hmm. 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 Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? A simple choice, which should only take a moment. Hmm? 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 Hmm. All right, and then we got about 10 minutes for them to take their turn. Wow, that was quick. Maybe I'll be quick, too. They really should block the that one, but I don't know. Not the defender. <laughs> I think that's fine. We get a land off that. We could bounce it back, but... Meh. Give me my land, man. And we get the draw as well. No time for cats. I'm trying to rope this person. <laughs> Off the st I wanted to make it, you know, it apparent that this could be a very long match if we don't together cooperate and speed things up. Which I think we've accomplished, right? There's a nice 
pay, play pace at this point. Earlier, it was not like that, though. So, you know, we'll play as quick as they do. Deal? Deal. I like it. It's a good card. Yeah. Yeah. Good game, homie. Going first. I, mm, I like to ramp out, but it's okay. Let's uh, take a surveil. I guess it could stay until we know what they are. They probably exile, but it's okay. Um, we'll get after it. Hey, thanks for the follow, Justice. Kami, oh, okay. I mean, I, yeah, great news. Should we just clean house? Yes, because you played the wrong land, so now you don't have a choice. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't think this is bad, though. Those are two pretty good creatures. It's not a naturalist or a... Um, what's the other one called? The one that, uh, the plus one, plus one, and, uh, has the ability to copy enchantment abilities or whatever. Okay. I think we want to slam this first. And I honestly don't mind trading with that. I'll take that naturalist. Yeah, cool. Akuda Matata. It's not great, but... The reduction is brutal. Right. You almost can't handle it. Getting the Kami back is really good for them as well. But what do you do, right? Okay, let's cloak first. Oh, interesting. It's not going to be great when it flips. This can go. We'll play ours. Can't be blocked. Let's just get after it. Oh. I mean, they get the Kami back, it resets the counter. We do get the draw here as well. We're out of juice. Maybe I should be less reckless. But it's like, this deck is so... So crazy if you let it... Let it spool up, right? Like... Mm. I wish I had this Kumano out for uh, exile of this Kami like 10,000 years ago. Okay, though, this isn't going to be casting from our hand, unfortunately, but 
It is what it is. Again, we can't be blocked. Which is really, really good, in fact. Okay. They do have to pay the ward. Let's send it back to our hand. Big hit, some life gain as well. Okay. Big money, no whammies. Mm. Swing and finally take our exile, right? Or do we take the life gain? Hope, because they already have the mana, the reduction's not doing much. It is only the life gain, and it's not bad at two. Katilda makes it far worse. Uh, Michiko really is terrible for us as well. Uh, visitor to an extent as well. Um, let's see how we make out here. We're good. So we could flip this. Okay, good game. Um, and it would still remain unblockable, right? That's a hard matchup for us. We really do need to think about it here. Uh, let's go to the battlefield just for one second. Um, we could flip Yaris, right, for four. Um, he remains unblockable, uh, so that will deal five damage. One, two, three, four. We have two mana left over, um, which doesn't mean much, and we're going to hit for an additional three, uh, which would be seven. We would also draw a card. Right? And Kumano would be chilling. It would attack and force a, a block as well. So I think that's pretty cool. On the draw, land is here, which is great. Let's see if we can curve out. If they pass, I might not play. I think it'd still be a cut down. No, they're going right for it. To rest. Frenzy they can take. If we can get uh, Yaris on three, then we can um, have haste and get a draw. We lose our removal, which uh, sucks. They're looking at the cards. They get to see them uh, throughout the rest of the match until they're played or hidden again. Signified by the Ibbles. Oh, nice. Could be Counterspell, I guess, right? That would be unfortunate for me. But, what do you do? Take their duress. It lands. There's most likely removal, though, right? Mm -hmm. Flash block, potentially? I don't know if they would do that, though. Just taking it. Uh, Gix, hitting with two flyers would be good. Just hitting with two flyers. Okay, Shieldred.
Just in case it is a make disappear. We can pay two here. Oh, okay. Are they still countering that or are they going to take our Yaris? They're taking Yaris. Not bad. And we do lose our haste. Uh, they're going to get a draw here as well. Nice. All right. Our next oil counter will allow us to attack as a four, five, four, four. Okay, nice removal. Paying the ward it does slow them down a bit. No block. Nice hit. Nice tempo play. Okay. There's hope there. Who do we kill? The Mastermind? Their draw engine, right? Keep collecting oil counters. We have one blocker, seven life. They hit for four confirmed uh, without the block. I think we block this, don't we? Because if they hit for four and then play Shieldred, we're down to one. Oh, I thought uh, they hit for five. Why am I saying they hit for four? Okay, it wasn't a Shieldred. They hit for four. HGG. That's so funny. So we're only hitting for five. This would hit for six. Which is going to be a game. We can't block the flyer. Maybe we get a good draw? Or there's none disguise, actually. Good game. Blockers are irrelevant. Close match. We got them down to two. We'll let them hit, clean up. I don't think we get to see any new cards, unfortunately. Just is what it is, day one, right? All right, the Shuffler is convinced I'm a Gruel deck. I don't get it. At least there's a one, two, three in just potential fours if we get there, but it's like I shouldn't have to rely on Kodama to find my mana base. It's ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. Oh, let me guess removal. Really? Are you sure? Shuffler. Are you sure? I was going to get it manually. I think I would take a double block if they're willing. B1. 
beautiful. So you're telling me you're going to auto-tap my two red sources? Holy. This game is hilarious. To another field wipe, right? Those are good. We're in danger, though. We're in so much danger. Uh, dear control deck, please leave me alone. They've already cast one, so to cast another would be brutal. It's a really fun game. So I think that's just like a game, right? We're not you don't come back from two field wipes. Ouch. We're attacking into a 2-3 with flying. I'm not overconfident. You're just a little Oh, sorcery speed. Well, we are still main phase though. My judgment is final. Which is nice. Literally useless. Um, we don't have the blue to recast it, unfortunately. Can't be blocked, so it can go in. Oh, of course. Now you've done it. That's coming off. You're done. Let's take the wandering emperor. Years of training. <sighs> Loving it. All these new cards are just so fun to play against. Okay, let's all count to five together now. One. Turning our needless removal into a creature is always nice.
main phasing that. Interesting. Bold strategy, Cotton. Running for five, six, seven. Not enough. Oh, did they tap out? Was that my end step? Shouldn't you be tapped? I don't know. Maybe they had all that mana. I miss track of steps all the time. I thought they main phased that deluge. That was uh, our end step. Here, they're tapped out here, though. Let's cloak it. Hopefully it's good. Swing for four. Two mana. Really? You're a legend. Hit for two to ten. We have three. Four damage with a flip. They grab some life. They discard. Let's flip. Take our four. Do you think it's another Wandering Emperor? Deluge. One, two, three, four mana after. Should be fine. Huh. Okay. They're taking it. Oh, we could have recloaked there. No. Two to hand, and then replay for three. Swing for two to five. <laughs> they have life gain. You know, through the Celestis. Now also through Teferi. And the land as well. So up to seven. Interesting. Does it land? This needs to be countered, right? Three cards. There's no way you have it. They're memory deluging. They're gonna... No, devious cover up. Wow. That's brutal. They still have four mana for the land. Five mana.
Teferi's so wild. I can't be blocked, you doggone goofball. Thanks for tapping your mana, though. And they go to seven, then to nine, uh, well, to eight, actually, right? Or do they just go up from six to seven? I think they just went up from six to seven. And then they'll go from seven to nine. And then if they want from nine to 11. And potentially up to 12. With another Celestis. Third field wipe. Ah, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, wow. Going after it. I tapped out. Teferi's going to untap. Really? Man, all these new cars just cleaning the house. Well, I would say that this is the turning point at which we lose advantage. We're not going to make him think too hard about it, are we? Great game opponent. The Shuffler just, honestly, I have no words for it. It's so bad today. That's a good draw. Oh, wow. Another, uh, another great draw off the top. A big surprise. Like, I can't even get land, and my opponent's getting perfect hands and play lines. Good game. Well, alrighty then. Team Your Cloak. A cool new mechanic. Can it win? Yes. Is it ultra competitive? No. Folds to field wipes. Also gets beat by mono red. What doesn't though? Honestly, um, with the increased rotation period going from two to three years in standard, I do feel that the uh, power level of decks is um, maybe a little bit higher than what we're used to in the format. Um, with that being said, I lost on turn two today. I played my second land and had zero life. Maybe that's a little too quick. No? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Um, you know, we've got the removal in deck with the hard hitting question, which I like, right? Really like it. And the frenzy is not bad either. Um, but it just like, maybe we need a little bit more. I mean, the fading hopes here as well, but it's like just getting absolutely bullied today. Um, uh, for the most part, we get some nice wins in, uh, as well, but, um, you know, it's an aggressive place and seeing as that early access event was canceled and we're not really able to play against other new decks from you know the uh, community that is you know quite creative day to day i find um we're kind of stuck in that uh you know using my old deck because i can't afford uh, a new deck situation which i understand the plight of the common man i'm i'm basically in there too um i was pretty lucky 
with my pack openings. I got uh, a lot of wild cards, which is nice. And uh, I mean, I spent a few on this deck. I think Vanifar is not only a good card in multiple uh, decks, like it's going to be good in cloak decks, but I think it's also good in just like a Simic Artifacts deck, a colorless deck for that ability, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, as far as the mythic, uh, the rest is rare, which, uh, I find to be far less. Of course, we already had Ozure, the mole god, and, you know, this is going to be playable in multiple decks as well. So, you know, not really, uh, too concerned about the mythic wild card going there either. Um, and having a ton of fun with this build here today. Uh, if you are interested in any decks, hit me up in the discord. Uh, maybe we can showcase it, but probably not. <laughs> just kidding you know it's one of those things right it's like okay i'm trying to breed uh community engagement and interaction but i still just like to build and play my own decks every day no promises maybe it's good enough i don't know maybe it inspires me right could you imagine inspiring hgg um <laughs> regardless you can come hang out in the discord uh chill have a conversation and um myself and the community are looking forward to that so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i certainly did i'm excited to play with uh more new cards as the uh, days and weeks roll on here and hopefully we get to see some other new cards be played against us as well peace out homies like comment subscribe become a youtube member maybe watch another video join that community discord but most importantly have an absolute magical day